the facts show that in the USA alone, with 87,000 daily flights carrying over 26 million separate pieces of luggage, it can be said without exaggeration that loading and unloading all this baggage with 50 pounds or 20 kilograms into the airplane is one of the most frustrating and time-consuming jobs. On a global scale, according to 2005 to 2014 international tourism statistics, tourism doubles every year. This growth in the tourism industry, in addition to current air traffic needs, demonstrates that a drastic improvement in the preparation of baggage handling in major airports in the world would be beneficial both to airline companies and to their employees. Gatwick processes on average 123,000 passenger bags every day and things don't always go to plan. I've had my bags lost so many times that... Expecting your baggage to get on a plane and reach its destination is an act of blind faith. So just what happens after you wave goodbye to your bag at check-in? At Gatwick, your bag goes on a journey stretching up to one and a half kilometres. After passing through stringent security checks and an x-ray, the bag is flipped down to the loading bay, where it's manually scanned by a handling agent, before being placed onto a baggage car and driven out to the airstrip, where it's finally loaded onto the plane. Four hours, a thousand flights, ninety thousand people. Every arrival and departure scheduled down to the minute. What could possibly go wrong? Good morning, John. How are you? In the next 24 hours, nearly 90,000 people will arrive at this America's third busiest international airport. It's up to a staff of 38,000 employees to see that passengers, bags and possessions make it through the system and onto their planes on time. Getting passengers on and off the plane is only half the equation. On the airfield, below the ramp, is a whole other set of operations. Ray Calderon is Ramp Services Manager for Aviation Subcontractors, Swissport International. And he's got a schedule to keep. Santa Barbara Airlines out of Caracas, Venezuela is due for departure in 35 minutes. All right, what's the status on this flight? I need the low sheet and I got to get it out. Do we have a low sheet ready? I got to dump these bags. There are at least 200 something bags on this aircraft. I got to get it into customs and I got to start loading this place simultaneously. An airline doesn't make money when the plane's on the ground. So turning a plane fast is the driving force behind airline operations. Ray must also make sure every bag is loaded and accounted for. I gotta get 80 bags on this front hold right now. Bell, where are we putting these? With 10 minutes to spare, Ray's crew is done. Well, no, I'm okay. As long as I get my airplane closed up and ready to go, my job is done. The problem now is upstairs. When it takes them too long to board, it puts us in a bind. So now I'm running behind the eight ball. I got another flight that's going to be here 15 minutes, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to meet it on time. Current baggage handling. The numbers of the ramp, crowd and baggage. The weight of the baggage. Careless baggage handling. Injuries. Bad weather and occasional theft are a few major problems which cannot be overlooked in current baggage handling. Due to the large number of parcels and baggage being up and downloaded into the plane daily, 
This requires much manpower. If, for whatever reason, manpower is reduced, or the number of baggage and parcels is increased, this could cause anxiety and stress amongst employees obviously wanting to perform their duties with care. Numerous studies have shown that manual lifting can cause repetitive strain injuries and damage to the spine, resulting in high sick absence, or in worst cases, supplementary disability pensions. Harsh and severe weather conditions can also limit manpower by slowing down the up and download processing, adding to stress. Since security of the baggage is only possible by hiding cameras, it takes a long time to catch dishonest ramp crowd burglars on tape. You're looking at airline baggage handlers stealing, caught on secret cameras hidden in the belly of the plane. This baggage handler finds a wallet, jackpot, cash. He even takes the time to count it. He checks for more. Hmm, how about some credit cards? Video of the brazen theft obtained exclusively by ABC News from the New York region's Port Authority Police. And they have a holiday warning about some airport workers. Seven workers charged with stealing thousands of dollars in valuables. At New York's three airports, there were nearly 600 reports of luggage theft in the last two years. Authorities believe such thefts are underreported and happen routinely across the country. Some airports, including New York, have added additional surveillance cameras, stepped up patrols, and are encouraging employees to report theft. And the statistics back it up. We've obtained reports from the federal government, claims by passengers of items missing from their luggage. And over the past seven and a half years, more claims have been filed by passengers here at LAX than any other airport in the nation. LAX tops the list with more than 3,700 claims, totaling more than $300 million, although TSA only paid off a small fraction. JFK is second with 1,000 less claims. Newark is third. Passengers at LAX say they're missing 645 digital cameras, 451 pieces of jewelry, and 389 laptops. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. I wouldn't put anything valuable in LAX. These two LAX employees would only talk if we concealed their identities. I saw theft within the first week of working there. They both say there are organized rings of thieves who identify valuables in your checked luggage by looking at the TSA x-ray screens, then communicate with baggage handlers by text or cell phone, telling them exactly what to look for. This is a laptop here, and this is a PlayStation 3 here, and this is a VCR here. And it's located this area of the bag, and this is what color the bag is, obviously, and this is the name on the bag. So they give them all the information they need to know. Insufficient current technologies in baggage handling. Although high tech has been used in much of the repetitive processes, there is not yet proper technology to remove the need for human handlers in the baggage handling process. For example, Using flexible conveyor to down and upload baggage with high speed does not consider the handling and placement of each heavy baggage for the ramp crowd in the short time. And in other technology, if a robotic device replaces workers, the needs for costly airport modification would have to be substituted. This costly process implements just one segment of the process which is the loading of baggage carts or containers. The ramp crowd loading the baggage into the airplane and on the arrival conveyor with all other problems yet remains.
Robotic Handling System, RSH Solutions. RS can be beneficial to airlines in every segment of baggage handling. Loading baggage cart in airport baggage docking area. Pulling the baggage carts to airplane location. Uploading baggage to airplane cargo areas. Stocking baggage in airplane cargo areas. Downloading baggage from airplane cargo areas. Placing baggage on arrival hall. In addition to the mentioned processes, RSH can also load baggage into the baggage containers too. The key to overcome on all these problems is to remove ramp crowd in the baggage handling process. To achieve this goal, RHS has developed the most intelligent robot that has been designed in handling baggage and parcel process until now. This robot can accomplish up and download baggage without the need for any manpower supervision. This robot is designed with the most advanced technology available at this time. Technologies like GSM positioning and track finder. This technology helps the robot to get destination direction from the control room, travel to airplane locations in the airport and stop at the right distance from the airplane. In this position, the robot can open the airplane cargo door and roll the conveyor to the airplane cargo area without human supervision. Precise Optical Imaging This technology helps the robot to recognise baggage and parcel sizes and shapes and can scan the travel stickers to record the name and the destination of each piece of baggage and parcel. When the sizes and shapes of the baggage and parcels are, are defined, the robot can pick them up smoothly. To optimise space, the robot will place baggage and parcels into a box and upload boxes via the conveyor into the stocker system in the airplane cargo. HRS is capable of doing its precise job without any interruption in any harsh weathers. Stocker system. The stocker will place the boxes into the each level's row and as the row fills up it will raise the level to proceed to fill the next level's rows up in the same way. The position of each box in the stocker will be recorded. This helps to prevent baggage or parcels becoming lost and ensures that all the luggage and parcels are loaded into the airplane. The record of baggage positioning also helps to download the baggage or parcel if the owner decides to stay in any stop prior to his or her final destination. Please note, in current baggage handling, the baggage or parcel needs to reach their destination and then returns to the owner after a few days. When the airplane arrives at its destination, RHS can download baggage and parcels in reverse order it uploaded them and place the baggage and parcels on the arrival hall's conveyor belt where passengers can then retrieve their luggage. This will conclude the RHS baggage handling process. There are times baggage containers are useful to store the luggage or transfer luggage from location to other locations in the airport. RHS is also capable of loading baggage into the containers. The robot receives its commands from the control room. Every segment of baggage handling process by RHS 
is monitored by the control room, simply by the click of a few buttons, without human control or supervision during that process. The major advantages of RSH's control room are it can monitor baggage uploading and downloading to multi-carts in airport docking areas, airplane ramps and arrival hall conveyors simultaneously. In conclusion, regardless of the number of the flight and baggage in a day or how much tourism is increasing annually, RHS is up to the challenge of removing ramp crowd personnel, the handling of the weight of the baggage, carrying baggage with care, working in bad weathers and guaranteeing to halt ramp crowd injuries and theft in current baggage handling.